Hello, my darling friends. Welcome back to Flow, your 30-day yoga journey. It's day 23, root. Let's get started. You ready to get started? Okay, let's go. Alrighty, let's begin in a comfortable seat. Come on down to the ground. Let's drop right in today, pulling the shoulders back, softening your gaze or closing your eyes, allowing the sound of my voice to guide you. Thank you so much for continuing to show up here. Find length through the crown of the head. And draw your attention all the way down to the base of the spine. Just allowing your attention, your awareness to reside there, base of the spine, the area of the body that coincides with the root chakra. You might start to draw some energy, a little awareness up from the pelvic floor and allow that awareness, the energy to just gently lift all the way up from the pelvic floor, traveling all the way up through the spine. Nothing really different from what we've been doing, lengthening through the crown of the head, just a different point of entry, a different flavor, a different rasa. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. And on your next inhale, you can bat the eyelashes open. Benji's up and exhale, come forward onto all fours. Knees are gonna go wide here. Hips are gonna go back, extended child's pose. Reach the fingertips forward. Active arms here today. You might even lift the palms, tent the palms. And when we say that, we just imagine a tent pole in the middle of the palm here, pressing into the fingertips. And again, awareness to the root. Maybe here, the pelvic floor, the tailbone, the coccyx reaching back. Activating the low abs, hip creases pulling back. So you have an active pose here, breathe. Mm. Inhale and again, exhale, soften it. Allow the heart to melt, the hands to relax, the arms to relax. And we come into what I like to call <laughs> lovingly, our own private little love cave. And in this shape, you can close your eyes and deepen the connection with your breath. Give thanks for this moment, for your body, and for the opportunity to connect or reconnect with what matters most. That's definitely in alignment with root chakra for me. So take one more deep breath in here, your own private little love cave. Feel the skin of the back stretch as you inhale. And then as you exhale, we'll slowly come up to all fours. Walk the knees underneath the hips. Spread the fingertips wide. Press into the tops of the feet. Here we go. Inhale, drop the belly. Open the chest. Look forward. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Keep the awareness on the base of the spine today. So can we initiate this movement from the tailbone each time? Inhale, opening through the front body. Exhale, start at the tailbone. And we open through the back body, cat pose.
Again, notice if you're just going through the motions here, it happens. And as your friend, as your humble guide, see if you can slow it down and initiate this movement today from the tailbone. Just notice if that changes anything, quality of movement. Lovely, lovely. Bring it back to tabletop position. Then we'll curl the toes under and walk the hands all the way back, coming into our squat. Heels lifted or lowered. Totally up to you. Fingertips on a block or two or on the mat. Maybe it feels all right in your body to come into Anjali Mudra prayer position here. Don't push it though. And then together we'll walk the hands out all the way, come to plank posture, you got this. Reach the heels back. Reach the sits bones towards the heels, crown of the head forward. Breathe, inhale in, exhale. Tailbone up high and back, downward facing dog. Take three deep breaths in here. If you wanna bring back the lion's breath, maybe you need a cleansing breath today. I say green light. I say go for it. Find what feels good. And then when you're ready, bend your knees, inhale to look forward and exhale. Make your way to the top, feet hip width apart. To start, toes pointing forward. Let the weight of the head hang over. Find some soft, easy movement here. Fingertips to the left or to the right. Maybe you clasp opposite elbows and sway. Continue to gently deepen your breath. Then bend those knees generously. Slow and steady, roll up to stand. Now, never was there a better day to refocus that connection of the feet to the earth. As you rise up, draw energy up from the feet. And you can do so by actively Imagining you're turning your feet out. They're not gonna move, but energetically, we're turning them out. You can imagine tearing the yoga mat in half right down the middle. So the legs get strong. We draw energy up from the arches. We distribute the weight evenly through all four corners of the feet. Relax the gripping of the toes. Kneecaps lift, quadriceps tone. And we find a balance in the pelvis that feels centered for us. Lift up through the front body, lift your chest, ground through the back body. Imagine your shoulder blades melting down. Beautiful, take a deep breath in here. Exhale to stay. Inhale, reach the fingertips all the way up. Imagine you're holding a big beach ball up and over your head. So take the palms wide, thumbs back, pinkies forward. Shoulders are relaxed, legs are still super active. Inhale in, exhale, you're gonna take that beach ball all the way over to the left. Legs stay active, breathe. Then hug the low ribs in to come back to center. Inhale and again, grow taller. Exhale, take the beach ball over to the right. Strong legs working to create a full body experience here. So not just isolating for that left side body stretch, but finding the support. And then bring it back to center. Inhale, pull the thumbs back, lift the chest, maybe tiny back bend here. Exhale, palms come together, and we'll slice it right down the middle to take it all the way back into the fold. Bend the knees, hang here, three breaths. 
standing forward fold. After three cycles of breath, walk the feet together, really together, and then just give a little tiny bit of space between the heels. So first you zip them together and then just a little space between the heels. Bend the knees generously, sweep the fingertips forward, send the hips back, Utkatasana, chair pose. So go ahead and send the fingertips forward instead of up so you can really counter that weight. Get it way back into the heels. Think about aiming to get your, sh your knees over your ankles. It's okay if they don't come close, but that's the aim. Breathe. Maybe get a little bit lower, you got this. And then release, forward fold. Nice. Inhale, halfway lift here. Exhale to soften and fold. Fingertips come to the mat. We're gonna step just the right foot back, just the right foot. Lower the right knee to the earth. And instead of coming up into crescent, we're gonna slowly roll up, come into a kneeling lunge. Press into the top of your back foot and make sure the spine is tall. So front knee over front ankle here, hands on the waistline. Good, inhale in, exhale, curl your right toes under, and we're gonna lift that right knee just a couple of inches. What? Draw energy up from the pelvic floor, draw the shoulders back. Inhale in, exhale, warrior one. Right heel comes down, Navel draws in and up, and we sweep the fingertips forward and all the way up and back. Virabhadrasana one. Now hopefully you can feel the power of that back leg here. If not, turn the right toes in more and take your right hand and slap your right inner thigh to engage it. Virabhadrasana one. Inhale in here. Exhale, lift the right heel, send the fingertips back, airplane arms. Send your heart forward, long line from the crown to the tail. Good, inhale in again. Exhale, fingertips come to the mat and we slide the right toes all the way back up to standing forward fold. Good, inhale in. Exhale, feet together, maybe a little space between the heels. Round two, bend the knees, send the hips back, swim the fingertips forward, sweep the fingertips forward or swim. All right, now again, instead of trying to come into the perfect Utkatasana shape, let's feel it out. Send the hips back, send the fingertips forward to counter that weight, that leaning back of the hips. Navel draws in and up. Keep the neck long. Stay with it, feeling all of those muscles. Join the conversation. Find that inner recruit, that support system. It's there. Last bit, hug the low ribs in here, feel your abs. Inhale in, exhale, release. Forward fold, nice. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften and fold. Bend the knees, fingertips come to the mat. Step the left foot back, just the left foot, and then come onto the left knee. Roll it up, chin to chest. Long spine. Come onto the top of the back foot. Pull the right hip crease back. Peek at me if you need to. Again, we're not coming into this crescent today, but rather finding this connection from the pelvic floor all the way up to the crown of the head. Nice, fingertips reach forward, up and back. Curl the back toes under, and when you're ready, inhale in, squeeze inner thighs to the midline, exhale, lift that left knee, let it hover, you got this. Front knee stays over the front ankle. Lift up from the pelvic floor to feel the power in that back leg. Yep, there it is, <laughs> inhale in again. Exhale, pivot on the back foot for warrior one. Back toes turn in. Left inner thigh stays engaged, and you feel the root of this posture really coming from that back leg here as you spiral the belly and the heart forward, warrior one. Focus on the sensation here, not the shape. When we do it the other way around, we never really get to that place where we're feeling the strength in these postures. It's more like 
crossing your fingers. <laughs> so here we are exploring. Pressing into the outer edge of your left foot. Again, feel the root of this posture in the back leg, rising all the way up to the crown. Inhale in. Exhale, lift the back heel. Slow and steady. Shift the heart forward, crown of the head forward, fingertips back. Strong back leg, draw the shoulder blades together. Inhale in. Exhale, fingertips come back to the mat and we slowly slide that left foot all the way up. Uttanasana. Relax the weight of the head over. Inhale in deeply. And exhale completely. Bend the knees, send the hips back, fingertips forward, Utkatasan. Take a deep breath in here as you get nice and low. Then exhale, straighten the legs, root to rise. Lift the arms up and palms come together and slide right back down to the heart space where we'll take a deep breath in together and out together. Fingertips go all the way down, inhale, reach up, hold that big beach ball over your head. Then exhale, take it over to the left. Inhale, up through center. Exhale, take it to the right. Inhale, up to center, maybe a back bend. And exhale, palms come together and we slide it all the way down. Forward fold. Alrighty, this time fingertips come to the mat. We walk the feet wide. Turn the toes out, maybe just off the edges of your mat. Use a block or two if you need to here. Inhale in, exhale, slowly lower your center down. Coming into our Malasana variation. Feel free to keep the hands on the earth or your prop, or we'll draw the palms together. Anjali Mudra, press the arms into the legs, squeeze the legs into the arms. And whatever variation you're playing in, think about drawing energy up from the pelvic floor, from that root chakra center, all the way up through the crown of the head. So the neck is long in whatever variation. Breathe. Send that breath all the way down, that directional breathing. Inhale all the way down. Fill the belly with air. Exhale, it does a sweet little somersault down there and comes slowly up and out the nose. You got this, one more breath. Beautiful way to stay focused. From here, slow and steady, fingertips come behind us and we release. We're gonna keep the ex external rotation by bringing the soles of the feet together. Hands come to the arches of the feet. Thumbs are going to open the arches like a book as we sit up tall in cobbler's pose, Baddha Konasana. Lift this area of the armpit chest way high, lengthen through the crown of the head. Now close your eyes if you can here to just imagine the tops of the thighs drawing down towards the earth while the pelvic floor and the belly lift. So here we find that opposition once again. And we work with the opposition in yoga to create a healthy flow of energy. Breathe. And then release, Dandasana. Send the legs out, flex the feet towards the face. Fingertips come to the mat. And if you can, maybe today we walk the fingertips back just a bit to find a more grand lift in the chest. Now draw your belly in and up, lift it up out of the pelvic floor. Breathe, send your awareness to the base of the spine and draw a line from there all the way up through the crown of the head. Take one more breath, inhale in, exhale, point the toes, send the fingertips forward and slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Eventually we'll get head on the mat and when we do so, center yourself and then hug the right knee up into the chest. Inhale in deeply. Exhale, switch. Right leg goes out, left knee comes in. Breathe. And then send the left 
leg out, palms come to the earth. We're gonna use this connection to core here. Inhale in, exhale, hug the low ribs down to the earth for support and hug both knees up into the chest. And then you can give yourself a hug. Wrap your arms around the shins. Rock gently side to side. Mm, massage the low back. Keep your shoulders relaxed. And then take your legs over to one side, any side for reclined twist. Breathe. Send breath down into your belly. Feel it expand. And then feel it soften as you breathe out. Melt it through center. Take it to the other side. And again, don't shortchange yourself on this breath. Send that directional breath down to the belly. Feel it expand in your body. And soften as you exhale. And then melt it back to center. Center your hips on the mat. Extend your legs out long. Inhale, full body stretch. The biggest stretch and the biggest breath you've taken all day. Exhale, hands rest gently at your sides. Close your eyes and surrender. Finding stillness as you breathe easy here. And then gently wiggle the fingers and the toes. Rotate the ankles and the wrists. Bring the palms together, thumbs all the way up to the forehead. And we'll seal this little ditty with an inhale in together and an exhale out together. I love these practices as a beautiful reminder that we are not alone. We have the security and the belonging of being in this community and practicing together. And I thank you for that. Beautiful job. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.